Hey everyone and welcome to another Pokemon card video! Today we'll be opening this Zekrom EX10 and this is from the black and white set obviously so it's gonna have some Gen 5 packs which are not too common on this channel so I'm glad to be doing that. Let's just take a quick look at all the art. We've got a Reshram on that side, there's a Qurum right there, and over here we have some Zekrom of course which has got the weird looking Bumblebee Stinger thing. Let's go ahead and take the plastic off and see what we got inside! <laughs> Ew. All right, we're gonna put the plastic right there. Let's go ahead and pop this guy open and take a look at the packed in EX card. Oh my gosh, why does everything have to fall out? All right, let's just go like that. Zoom in a little bit. Let's take a look. Look how beautiful. That is a very nice card right there. Strong Bolt, Glinting Claw, Black and White promo number 38. I don't think Black and White had nearly as many promos as X and Y has. X and Y has over a hundred of them. It's ridiculous. But maybe someday I'll get them all. So there's Zekrom EX, very nice. Here's the code card that we're going to have for this set. And we have a Legendary Treasures pack right here, which is a set that I, I have ordered a booster box from, but it's just not here yet. It's probably going to be here sometime in March or something. The thing is, when you order stuff packaged with uh, pre-order items, then they don't ship it until the pre-orders launch. And in the case of this, I ordered it along some, some, alongside some pre-order items, so it's not going to be out for a while. Anyways, we got Plasma Blast here. We also have two more packs, a... Black and white next destinies and black and white boundaries crossed. I'm pretty sure I've opened this set. I don't think I've ever opened a next destinies pack on this channel. I think that's a new one. But let's go ahead and start, I think, with the newest. I think this is the order, so this is the newest one here. So let's get to legendary treasures. A very bizarre set. I think it's a reprint set. I think it's got reprints from different uh, black and white sets. But it's a little bit bizarre just because it has the sparkly cards in them. I'm not even going to do a card trick because I'm not really sure how this works. So let's get to a better angle here. And here we have a Gothita. We have Oshawott. There's Vulpix. I love that Vulpix. Very nice. We have a Dino. There's Garbodor. Is that a holographic? It is! Okay, so we got a holographic. Like I said, I, I didn't shuffle the cards around. Uh, some people refer to that as the card trick. I didn't do that, crud! So here we got our holographic already. And then we have right here, I think this is just a rare. But so cool. And then we got the sparkles. There's our sparkly card. So there's actually 25 cards right here from the Radiant Collection set. And they have these sparkles. So that is an Eevee sparkle. Very nice. Then we have a uh, Mincino Sui Art. Nice. Is that also a sparkle? Wait, hold on. I think... Yeah, it says Radiant Collection. I guess that's also a sparkle. Oh, you can barely see it. But there's like this very subtle star pattern on it. Let me see if I can get it. Uh, it's kind of hard to, hard to see. But maybe you can see that very slight faint uh, star pattern. Then we have a Palpitoad, a Zuelis, and that's it. I guess you only get two uncommons for that set. All right, let's move on to Plasma Blast. I've opened a few of these as well. I think I opened more of these back when the channel was kind of new because at the time I was opening more of the base set X and Y type stuff and they often had Plasma Blast packed in there. So there's the code for that. And here we go. This is again one of the last, I think this is the last non-reprint set from Black and White. Here we have a Glalie which is a Team Plasma card. We have Duosion, Tortuga, very nice, or Turtoga, I don't, I don't know how to pronounce that. We've got Carablast, which I have a lot of Carablasts. We've got Golette, Drudagon, which is a common in this. He's a holographic in one of the X and Y sets, and here, just a common. Sorry, Drudagon. We have a Muna. There's Axius, we Art, very nice. We've got Reverse Holographic Machoke. And we have a holographic Houndoom, so that's back-to-back -back holographics. You can always tell it's a black and white set because the, the holographics always have that line pattern to them. So different sets usually have different kinds of holographics. Sometimes you get sparkles or stars or shattered glass. In this case, you got these lines, which I'm not the biggest fan of the line holographic, but they're still pretty cool looking and definitely very distinct from the others. Okay, next up we have Boundaries Crossed. So let's get to that. Uh, I've opened definitely less Boundaries Crossed than I've opened of Legendary Treasures or of Plasma Blast. I think I've only opened like one product that had this in it. I can't remember. I've opened so much stuff that it kind of all blends together, so I, I can't remember. But I know I haven't opened much of this set. But here we have a Great Ball. We've got a Clink. There's Watchog looking very... I don't know. He looks like he's doing his job. He's watching something. We've got Gothita, which I think there was one in the other set too. We have Charmander. That's actually a cool looking Charmander. Got another item. We got a potion, which is a common. That's actually very rare. At least in X and Y. I don't think you ever see commons as items. It's always uncommons, but I guess not back then. We've got a Spinda. I think I've got this card, but it's a really cool looking one. We have a Gligar. There's a reverse holographic Swoobat. 
What the heck? Oh, okay. I recognize I recognize that symbol. So I think I've got some of those cards. Maybe not from opening the packs directly, but I know I have some of those cards from lots. Anyways, the last card here. Another holographic. Is that a triple hollow? My goodness. We've got ourselves a Keldeo. Three hollows from three packs. One pack to go. I feel like I should do a booster box of this set. I want to start doing more of the pre-Gen 6 stuff, because I've done so much Gen 6, and I plan to keep doing it because I'm trying to complete those sets, but where did I put the pack? Oh, there it is. But I'd like to do uh, booster boxes for these two. I, I did one for the base set black and white, but I would like to do stuff for like, well, stuff like this. Next Destinies and Boundaries Crossed and Plasma Blast and all that. Although, I think it's Plasma Freeze is kind of expensive. Or maybe it's Plasma Storm. I think Plasma Storm is really expensive. Like, not ridiculously expensive, but it's like 300 bucks, which compared to like, you know, Pokemon Jungle, which is like $500 or something, it's not that much, but... Compared to all the other sets, which is like 100, maybe 150, it's, you know, pretty expensive. But for this pack, we have a Sky Arrow Bridge. There's a Lapras. I love that Lapras. That's awesome. And again, I recognize that uh, symbol. I don't think I've opened any of those packs, but I know I have some cards in my collection from that set. We have a Double Colorless Energy. There's a Growlithe. A Pharaoh Seed. With self-destruct, it does 60 damage to itself. So yeah, it self-destructs. Got a super cute Cub Chew. There's a Pan Sage. Grimer excited by his own shadow, I think. Oh, look at that. Reverse holographic rare Articuno. That's an awesome looking one. And we have... Oh my gosh, guys, we did it. Four for four. Four holographics. Every single pack had a hollow. That is awesome. We got Scrafty right here, once again with the line pattern. So... I guess I'm pretty happy about that. I mean, we didn't get any ultra rares. We didn't get like EXs or full arts or secret rares, whatever. But we got four holographics out of four packs. I'm not going to complain about that, especially when it's sets that I haven't opened that much of. So these are new holographics for my collection. So I'm happy about that. Anyways, guys, that's going to be it for this tin. We will come back on Friday and we'll open up the Hoopa EX Legendary Collection. And we'll also have a video on Sunday of another pack battle because I'm just scheduled to do it on Sunday this week. Anyways, I'll see you guys on Friday. Take care.